Magandang hapon mga Estado 5 p.m. service. Welcome, Antonia Aguilar, one of the pastors here. Uh, I'm so glad na makasama ko kayo ngayon uh, with the technology that we have. I'm thankful. Kahit makakalayo tayo, nagkikita, nagkakasama pa rin tayo. I want to thank Pastor James, our lead pastor here. Are you blessed with him? Nakakabless uh, lang po ano, si Pastor James, pati yung team natin sa uh, Sabado. Si Ate Nemia, si Pastor Christian, mga campus missionaries natin, sila Eka, sila Benjo. Uh, iba lang din yung ginagawa nila sa mga buhay nila sa pag-inid dito sa Sabado uh, service natin. At sa inyo, mga nanonood na mga victory group leaders natin, thank you so much. Iba lang talaga yung ginagawa nila sa buhay ninyo. Uh, well, I want to invite first, bago tayo pumunta sa, ano, sa uh, word natin, I want to invite everyone next week for our Father's Day. We want you to be involved. Mga kayo magpa-participate dito sa Father's Day activity natin next week. Uh, I-ask namin namin, is this, uh, magpadala kayo ng photo ninyo na kasama yung tatay nyo. Or kung ikaw yung tatay, magpapadala ka ng photo mo kasama yung mga anak mo during this uh, ECQ uh, ano natin, set up or the quarantine uh, days natin. Okay? Uh, usually kasi pag pinag-uusapan ng quarantine, yung pandemic, wala. maraming negative things ang sinasabi o binibigay o nakikita natin o nararanasan pero look, we must look also at the uh, positive, okay? Part of it. Positive per, uh, perspective. One of them is this, yung mga tatay na hindi uh, masyadong nakikita ng mga anak, lagi nasa trabaho, and I know you're working hard, kung mga parang naman sa pamilya to. Pero ngayon, nagkaroon ang pagkakataon na magkakasama tayo sa bahay, kayo sa bahay, na uh, yung makapag, ano, magkaroon ng bonding time with the kids. So, uh, padala kayo ng mga pictures na yun during quarantine. Tapos, uh, ano ba yun, yung mga happy moments ninyo, yung bonding time ninyo, uh, anything, okay? Na ginagawa ninyo yung time. Huwag lang yung nag-aaway kayo, huwag na yun, okay? <laughs> yung mga magagandang uh, alaala o memories na nabuo during this quarantine. Tapos padala nyo dito sa FB or sa Facebook page natin or pwede din doon sa email natin, pioneeratvictory.org.ph So, I hope na makita ko yung mga pictures nyo doon. Eh. Kasi magandang pagkakataon dito para ma-honor natin ang mga uh, tatay, ang mga daddy, ang mga papa, ang mga ama ng tahanan. Sa, ano, uh, even na uh, medyo magkakalayo tayo. Let's honor them. Right? So, send those pictures. Okay? Uh, this is also, actually ngayon, last week na po natin for our series, A New Hope. Alright? Uh, last week, si Pastor James, eh, he shared the story of the beggar, the lame beggar, or the crippled beggar, na, alam mo yun, nagkaroon ng miracle dahil ginamit ni Lord si Peter and si John. Alright? So, yung main beggar na yun, 40 plus years old. <laughs> For the longest time, his whole life, hindi siya makalakad. But the miracle that happened, grabe na yung galaw ng Holy Spirit sa buhay ni Peter at ni John. Okay? So, ang ganda naman ng nangyayari kina Peter, siya, alam mo yun, makakatulong, may miracles, nag-preach sila ng, alam, ng gospel. Pero, Pag tinignan mo, parang ang ganda na nangyayari, ang ganda na ginagawa nila, sumusunod sila kay Lord. Pero, yung naging kalagayan nila after, ay hindi maganda. Nagkaroon ng malaki problema, may dumating na opposition. The Sadducees, the priests, the temple guards came and inaral sila. Actually, uh, in Acts chapter 4, verse 3, it says here, and they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. So they were arrested. So may opposition. Ang kalaban nila, well, in the Saturday, the Sadducees, they are, well, the wealthiest ano, families sa Israel at that time. They are in control of the temple. Kumbaga sila yung authority. Sila yung leader nila. Uh, maraming connections, mayaman. Sabihin mo na, ibig sabihin, uh, sabihin mo na lahat ng masasabi mo about you sa mga matatakas na mga tao o mga pamilya. Meron sila nun. Sila yun. Diba? Big time talaga yung nakalaban, nakabangga dito ni, ni, ni Peter at ni John. Well, 
dahil nga they preach nila about the resurrection, which is isa sa mga bagay na hindi pinaniniwalaan ng mga Sadducees, hindi sila naniniwala na may resurrection. But at the same time, galit sila kay Jesus. Kasi sila sa mga nagpa, ano, nagpapatay kay Jesus, actually, sila yung the mind behind it. So, pag tingin mo, parang, wow, ang ganda, sumusunod si Peter, si John, pero, bakit ganun yung nangyari? May problema, may trouble, may crisis. Sobrang bigat lang, di ba? Parang pinagdadaanan natin ngayon, sobrang bigat. Iba-iba yan. Uh, Maaring sa finances, katinamaan, sa business, kay trabaho, wala kang trabaho. Eh, gahanap ka hanggang ngayon. Bagsak ang kikana ni. O isa, hindi makapag-aral. Dahil sa nangyayari, di ba? Ang bigat lang. Saan? Siya, hindi nag-aaway, nag-ihiwalay. Anyway, that's sad. Dahil sa quarantine na ito. Marami ang nangangay langan ng tulong. Okay? Hindi lang quarantine, pero mayroon pang susunugan. Malayan mo yun. Wala ka ng trabaho, nasunugan ka pa. Sobrang ito yung dadaanan. Ah, ang ganun pinapilala. Wala naman silang ginawang masama. Pero ngayon, ika lang. Ang kalaban ko sobrang laki, sobrang bigat. Sobrang big time. So, tingnan natin paano nila ha- haharapin yung problema na to. Uh, ano ba yung ginawa nila? Ano yung nakakulong sa kanila sa pagharap sa problema nito? Mga bagay na pwede natin matutunan as we talk about this. Ang pag-uusapan po natin is on Acts chapter 4, verse 23 to 21, Pwede, uh, 31. Pwede nyo kung dalhin yung uh, or dalhin or buksan yung Bible ninyo dyan sa Acts 4 uh, 23 to 31. Okay? So, basahin ko po. When they were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and elders had said to them. So, basically, arrest sila, nagkaroon ng investigation, ngayon, no, uh, pinalaya na sila, okay? When they were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders and said to them. And when they heard it, they lifted their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything in them? Who through the mouth of our father David, your servant, said by the Holy Spirit, Why did the Gentiles rage and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. For truly, in this city there were gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look upon their threats and grant to your servants to continue to speak your word with all boldness, while you stretch out your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the word. Lord, ihanda mo yung puso namin, Lord, para sa salita mo, mangusap ka sa amin, at gawin mo malambot ang puso namin para makatanggap ka agad kung yung sumasabihin sa amin. Yung pagmamahal mo, yung pag-aaruga mo sa amin. Yes, Lord, thank you. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. Now, una-una natin na uh, matututunan sa ano, binasa natin story, ano, uh, para makatulong sa akin, so, dahil makatulong ko sa mga disciples, nung uh, hinaharap nila yung problema nila, yung crisis nila. Okay? Parang tayo, okay? Paano kaya, paano, in a way, paano, na, paano tayo matutulungan nito? Makukuha natin yung mga principles at mga pinandaanan nila Peter at Jack at saka ng mga disciples. First and foremost, first uh, principle, okay? First uh, thing na matutunan natin sa kanila. Sila, Peter and John, they have a community to go to. May problema sila, pero meron sila pwedeng puntahan. May pwedeng tumulong sa kanila. Ito pa natin yung community. May mga friends sila. Actually, yun yung mga apostles, yun yung mga disciples, yun yung mga nila. Sila yung mga uh, pinuntahan nila. Peter at John. Sabi dyan. 
uh, when they were released, they went to their friends. Pinuntahan kaga nila. Hindi ko sino-sino. Hindi yung nagreklamo sila sa iba pang mga authority, right? Or the sort of Roman government. No, no, no. They went to their friends. Ang laki ng problema natin. Ito tayo sa mga kalimigan natin and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. And when they heard it, okay, nung narinig nila kung ano yung nangyari, they lifted their voices together. May kasama sila. <laughs> like, pray. They lifted their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything in them. Ano yung point? Meron silang katuwang. Meron silang magpupuntahan. Okay? Communities are very important. Community na perform dahil sa common interest. Kaya nga ngayon, di ba, sa mga kabataan, madaling magkaroon ng connection. Paano? Hey? Kapa? Uh, MM. <laughs> Maghahal na sila rin kagrupo. Meron na silang community. The Mobile Legends Group. Well, hindi na para sa mga kabataan, no? Para, pero marami din sa atin sa mga adult ang gumagawa niyan. That's a community, okay? Mga single professionals, sa mga business na, may community kayo na binubuo para makatulong sa pagpapalago ng business, connections, ang um, buy and sell, reselling, and everything. Meron. Sa mga single professionals, can din. <laughs> Meron mga grupo, may community. May bakana ka actually. Okay? That's your community. So yung community makikita natin na talaga at very important. Mga parents, lalo sa panahon na to, ang laking community ay nagbubuo. So ano, yung homeschool community natin, dahil marami ngayon, uh, ang lumilipat na dahil yun ang kailangan ng pagkakataon, di ba? Marriage, ano, community or parenting group. Actually, marami yan. Why? Because we need community. And as Christians, we also need that. Si Peter at si John, they were Christians. Connected sa, sa, ano, sa community. Anong community yun? Community of believers. Ang common interest natin? Jesus Christ. Our Lord. The Bible. Kaya tayo nagsasama-sama. Pinagsama-sama tayo ng Panginoon. Dito sa church natin, ang tawag natin dyan, Victory Group. Okay? Victory Group. We cannot do this alone. We need someone. So, kung naririnig nyo na yun, ano, madalas every week, kaya yan eh. Kailangan mo nang tao. Ako po, lumago in my faith, in my walk with God. Because of those people, mga tumuli sa akin, in my ups and downs. Yeah? Sila yung mga uh, lagi kong kasama. Uh, sila yung nagpe-pray para sa akin. Sila yung nakikinig. Kaya kung may problema ka, meron ka lang naglalabasan ng ano, problema mo, iiyakan mo sila yun. Uh, yung tumulong sa akin sa mga pagkakataon na yun, tutulong talagang binibigay sila sa akin, pag-down ako, or uh, kailangan kong mag-grow in my walk with God, sila din yun, yung kailangan ako authority or review, sila yun, may problema, may mabiga, tawag ka lang, or text, sila yung kausap ko. Importante, we cannot do this alone, lalo na yung buhay kristyano. You know, we cannot live this life in an isolation. Hindi tayo pwedeng isolated. Isolation is one of the weapons of our enemy. We were designed to be in a community, not to live in isolation. Yung pagkakadesign nila sa atin. Imagine, no? God, uh, the Trinity, okay? One God in three persons in Himself is a community. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Siya yung example natin, okay? Kasi hindi mo kakasama, sila yung nagtutulungan. Pero iisa lang, iisa lang sila pa. Ay, sa atin, community. Connect. Right? Connect. Very important na maano, makunik ka sa mga tao, sa mga believers, lalo na yung mga mas mature sa'yo para matulungan ka ito mo. With God. Okay? May kasama mo ito pa. Sa lahat lang yung mga may magpe-play para sa'yo. Sa mga pangailangan mo, sa mga pinagkataanan mo, alam mo, alam mo may meron kang magpupunta, may matatakbuhan ka. So, ano, para sa atin ito, ano yung pwede natin gawin, ano yung application para sa atin? Be part of the church community. Kung hindi ka pa part, hindi, uh, wala kang kilala dito sa church, hmm, ito yun. 
And pag praying mo, Lord, ito na ba yung church community na uh, kinokalik mo ako? Pag sumagot si Lord, go ahead, pakmanik ka na. Okay? Uh, ma- ma- maaaring yung mag-invite sa'yo. Sayin ko sa atin mo, tanungin mo, paano ba ako makukalik? Kapag-contribute leader din siya. So siya na yung mag-lead sa'yo. Siya yung magkukalik sa'yo sa mga ibang mga tao. So sa atin lang siya, be connected. Or kung connected ka naman, nasa victory group ka, good. Stay there. Okay? Continue meeting together. Don't stop. Yan yung uh, tutunin sa'yo. So kailangan mo sila, kailangan natin ang bawat sila. So that's the first thing, community. Yun yung meron si Peter, yun yung meron si John, yun yung meron yung mga disciples. Sila yung nakasama, sila yung nagtutulungan. Hindi sila nag-iisa. Hindi ka rin nag-iisa. Nandito yung church. Sana mo. Okay? Number two, na kailangan natin maintindihan na nangyari sa kanila, okay? In this season, nung buhay nila na may problema, pero uh, tinaghawakan nila as they go through this problem, habang pinagdadaanan nila yung problema nito, ano yon? They understood that God is in control. Okay? Hindi maganda yung sitwasyon, ito yung current reality, pero naiintindihan nila. Si God, Yes, yun ito po. Kahit ang mangyari. Sayon ko sa inyo. For truly, in verse 27, In this city, they were gathered together against your holy servant, Jesus. The prayer na ito, sinasabi nila yung nangyari kay Jesus, the, the crucifixion, whom you anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel. Para ang nagplano at ang gumawa ng crucifixion, parehong Jews and Gentiles. Verse 28, to do whatever your hand, wow, the plan of the Lord, <laughs> to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. Inaano ni God yun. It is in His control. Sa itsura, parang hindi maganda, pero He did it for our good. Right? God is sovereign. Ngayon, ano mo, teka lang, ano mo, kung ganun, edi wala pala kasalanan yung mga tao na nagpapakot. Hindi. It is out of their own volition. Ibig sabihin, talagang decision nila yun. Si Lord, alam mo magiging decision ng mga tao yun. Hindi niya kinontrol. Pero ang kinontrol niya, yung mangyayari. Why? Because what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it for our good. Kahit na pagplanuhin pa nila, pagplanuhin nila na na uh, gumawa na ba sa mga God will turn for our good. Ano yung nangyayari sa inyo ngayon? Ano yung pinagdadaanan mo? Ano yung problema mo? Okay. God will turn it for your good. He is the greatest uh, turn around the kung meron ka na ganun, no? <laughs> Gabi lang. Inaayos niya yung buhay natin. Inaayos niya. First and foremost, yung problema, hindi naman po yung inaayos niya. Ang, pin- ang inaayos niya talaga sa atin, yung character natin, as we face this problem, our problems. So, when we turn for our good, yung maitindihan mo lang, ah, okay. Maitindihan ko kung bakit nangyari. Ah, uh, okay. Maraming salamat, Lord. Yung character niya yung inaayos mo. Bakit? Kasi kung may dumating na pa ng bagong problema, okay ka naman sa pinagdaanan niya na ni Lord. Alam mo si Lord God is, is in control. So hindi ka na matatakot. Iba na yung pag-receive mo sa problema. Iba na yung pag-embrace mo. Iba na yung, yung pag-handa uh, mo rin sa problema at paano mo siya harapin. He will turn bad things, evil things, or maging bagay na linear sa buhay mo for your own good. So two things na ngayon, ano? Be part of the church community, understand that God is in control, and embrace it. Yun yung dapat natin gawin. Sige, naiintindihan ko, Lord. Naiyak na ko yung gawin. Hindi ko gagawin ko. Okay? Minsan kasi naiintindihan lang, pero okay lang, mahala. No, no, no. Embrace it. Kung may tindadaan kang mahirap ngayon, may ginagawa na siya ang lumak from. Hindi mo man nakikita. And it's okay. Pero let me assure you, He is doing something on your behalf. He is moving. 
because he is a man of action. He listens, but he moves in action. Right? So, he is in control. Third thing we can learn from the disciples, they prayed with confidence. They prayed with confidence. So, alam nila, pag nag-ask nila, Lord, dito kayo mo ito. Alam namin pinag-pray namin at alam namin kung kanino kami nag-pray. Kaya po, sila, courageous, matakang kung mag-pray. Hindi simple lang ang mga prayers. Medyo dangerous yung prayers nila. Ah, rara to, rara. Okay? Acts chapter 4, verse 29 to 30. And now, Lord, sabi, kilala nila. Kung sinita, tawagin nila. Kanino ko nila. And now, Lord, look upon their threats and grant to your servants to continue to speak your word with all boldness. While, alam niya, eto power ni Lord, you stretch out your hand to heal. <laughs> yeah? Nung nanyo yung ginawa nila sa amin, sabi ni, ni, ni ano, ng mga disciples, as they pray, pero ito yung nasa nila, ikilat mo sa amin, bigyan mo kami. Nang bold in his speaking, you were bad. As you do it, alam namin that you will stretch out your hand. In turn, alam namin that you will heal people. Al- alam namin that you will do miracles, signs and wonders. Pray boldly. Pray with confidence. Hindi sa kasi pag pray tayo, parang wala lang. Kaya ano eh, pinag-gawin namin eh. Yeah. Lord, thank you for the food. In Jesus' name, Amen. Wala na siyang parang buhay, kumbaga. Parang memorize nila, parang okay, ito na kasi ginagawa, ito na yung routine. Oh, pray with confidence. Lord, thank you for the food. Maraming salamat, meron kami food ngayon. Maraming salamat, Lord. We provision kami. In Jesus' name, Amen. And you pray also for healing, Lord. You said in your word, we are stretched on the cross. We are healed. Lord, we are healed from our sins. You can heal our uh, diseases. Lord, we pray for him. We, in the name of Jesus, we declare healing in our body, in my body, in the body of my mom. We pray with power. In your prayer, you need confidence. Saan kasi ang ganda ng prayer mo, no? Pero nangyari ganito. Uh, pag tinanong ka, mangyayari ba yan? Saan ang sagot natin? Baka, Siguro. Alay mo, bakit si Lord? <laughs> Hindi ka sure. <laughs> you are asking the Lord. Okay, alam mo, alam mo, hindi tayo kay Lord kasi hindi tayo sure na nasagutin tayo ni Lord. <laughs> He is the Lord. He is the same. He will answer. Okay? Uh, ang answer, di ba? Yes, no, or maybe, but He will answer. Minsan, mali na talaga yung prayer. Kaya, no. Minsan, kailangan natin mag-wait. Kaya, maybe. Minsan, kailangan mo lang maging patient. But nevertheless, He will answer. Sasagot siya. Be confident. Be confident. Kay Lord, sasagot. Kaya, may problema ko. Ito yung nagkakalingan ko. Ito yung hirap ko. Ito yung gadaanan ko. Alam ko nila. Ito yung pinag-pray ko. Ito yung hinihingi ko sa kanya. Hinihingi ka lang. Hinihingi ka lang. Gano marami ko, kahit gano kahirap yung hihingin yung, yung mo. Hindi ka lang, confident ka kasi. Sigaw yung hihingin mo. But expect great things from God. Because He is a great God. Okay? So, so, three things na kailangan natin gawin. Be part of the church community. Understand that God is in control and embrace it. The third one is this. Pray with confidence. Okay? Again, bakit? Pray with confidence. Because you are praying in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Which is the fourth thing na matututunan natin dito. The disciples, as they pray, makikita mo that they believe and declare the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Hindi na sila naniwala. Dine-declare pa yung power na yun ni Lord. Acts 4.30 while you stretch out your hand to heal. Di ba yung prayer na kanila? While you stretch out your hand to heal, alam nila, he is going to heal. Yeah, that was gonna happen. And signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus, in his name. 
Yun is the name. That's why you need to be confident in praying. You are praying in His name. He is Lord. He is King. He is Mighty. He is a Good Shepherd. In time of crisis, declare Christ is ito. Baka wala rin ito, Lord. Parang hindi nagawa natin, di ba, yung 714. We were part of that. The when 714 in the morning, 714 in the evening, declaring that God will uh, make us stop in this pandemic. That God, alam mo yun, will uh, give scientists uh, uh, the wisdom para mahalat na yung vaccine na yun. We just believe every day, Lord, peace will come to those people who are grieving. Yung mga pinamaan, uh, Lord God, ng mga pamilya, ng mga ano, namakayan. Lord, you will come. Why? Uh, we pray that, parang, we pray kayo, pa, alam mo yung magtatagal pa, we know the current reality, we know the data, okay? Alam natin kung na medyo magtatagal pa yung, yung uh, pagtaas ng, ano natin, ng uh, pagbalik ng magandang economy, okay? Pero, yung Taylor kasi, will never change, his promises will never change. He <laughs> still hold on to it. Because it's still declaring there's power in the name of Jesus. Whatever situation we are in, ano yung pangangailangan mo? Ask Him. Hindi ka nitulong. Napatakot ka? Declare His power and His name in your situation. Given kapatid, nakakatakot. Nakakatakot lumabas. O lumayan, mga, may mga lumalabas na, nasa trabaho na. Nakakatakot kasi na magkasakit, nakakatakot kasi na mawalan ng trabaho, na ano yung magiging future ko, lahat yan. Nakakatakot yung kalagayan yan, kung may ako cancer. Takot ka? Meron yan, of course. But please, focus sa kuha sa ganyan, as in Jesus. His name. His name has power. As she pray in confidence, Lord, I pray, may cancer na ito, mawala. Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Do you understand that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord? Kung oh, ang mga tao, okay, okay, lahat ng creation in heaven and earth will bow down to Jesus. May hindi mag-bow down yung mga sitwasyon natin ng Lord. Kaya nang galing ni Lord yan. Our God is powerful. He is free. <laughs> every knee will bow and every tongue confess that He is Lord. Thank God. Kasi ikaw, you already, you are already confessing that He is Lord. Kada rin ay gumalaw sa buhay ng sinyo. Ang gagawin mo lang, give Him space. As you believe. Marami tayong ginagawang paraan, and that's good. Pero a lot of times, hindi na nga natin kaya. Give him space. Space to do what he needs to do. Okay? Believe. Maniwala ka. Read the Bible para tuloy-tuloy yung paniniwala mo sa kanya. Believe and declare. Okay? Hindi ka lang naniwala, pero i-declare mo din. I-declare mo kung sino siya sa buhay mo. When you pray for healing, pray in His name. When you pray for provision, in His name. Protection, in His name. Parang sa mga hindi nyo. Minsan lang nakapagawala sa atin. Parang, okay na. Hindi mangyayari kay atin. Do you know that the demons, the believing God, are shocked? Pag-inig sila, takot. Alam mo yung power ni Lord. Alam mo yung power ng nanginigat ni Jesus. If they know that and they shatter how much more we are. Followers ni Lord. We know Him. We follow Him. We don't shatter. We are in awe. In, in Him. May fear tayo healthy fear of God. Being in awe. Parang Lord, so ka ka lang. I love you. I honor you. I worship you. 
So, kung mga demons they share na tayo, we rejoice. We believe. Kagod mo. Kapatid, may ano pang time, mag-move nila sa buhay mo. Whatever crisis you are in, okay? Simula mo na i-declare yung name ni Lord, yung power ng name ni Lord sa buhay mo, yung sa sitwasyon mo sa buhay. Ito, and be ready, be expectant to experience His goodness and His miracles. Ito yung yung prayer ko. Na in the midst of this crisis, that you will call out to Him, and you will see His goodness. You will experience na nangyayari yung promises niya, na sinasagot niya niya, and that you will have a new testimony of His goodness. Yung marinig natin na, ano yung ginawa ni Lord para sa'yo? Yung gusto mong nangyayari. Ano yung ginawa ni Lord para sa akin? Yung kikwento ko sa'yo. May pang abang kita yung testimony, isi-share sa mga kabutihan ng Lord. But, it will only happen if we hold on to Him confidently, boldly, Lord, pag nag-pray ako in your name, <laughs> things will change. Mighty things will happen in your name. That's who you are. You are a great God. You are a great King. You are a great Lord. You are a good shepherd. Yes, natatakot ka sa sitwasyon mo ngayon. Pero sabihin mo sa sarili mo. Natatakot ako, pero alam ko, ang kapangyarihan na aking Diyos, I will probably hahawak ako sa iyo. Hahawak ako sa iyo. Makapangyarihan. So, four things, as individuals and as a church, we need to do in facing our problems na matutunan natin sa Acts 4. Be part of a community or for us, church community. Understand that God is in control is in control whatever happens in the basic. Pray with confidence. Hindi ka lang. Hindi basta-basta. Hindi <laughs> mga imposible hingin mo rin. Pray with confidence through His name. Believe, this is one, and declare the power of the name of Jesus. May kapangyarihan. May kapangyarihan sila. May kapangyarihan na pwede ka mag-tap kamitin mo yun. For the last few weeks, God is our shepherd. He will not be in one. He's the one who gives a protection, provision, name it, even in the midst or in the face of our enemies. Sabi ni Lord, God is taking care of you. Even in the midst these Hindi ka hayaan ni Lord na gumagsak. Kapagsak ka, pero magbangon ka ulit dahil ibabangon ka ni Lord. At yung magbabangon sa'yo, hindi mo tulog sa'yo, kailangan mong maibigyan. Lakain mo laging lumapit sa kanya. Nandiyan siya para sa'yo. Right? So, that's the hope that you and me have. Okay? Let me pray for everyone. Lord, maraming salamat, Lord. Sa word mo, we thank you na in-encourage mo kami, Lord. Matulad ng mga disciples, Lord God. Lord, may tutunan kami. Nilagay mo kami sa community of believers. You can help us. Ready? Ready kami kumitin sa kanila. Pag may problema, so we can uh, try out to them, Lord God. Lord, masarap lang ang mga ginagawa ko sa buhay namin. At masarap lang ang mga kaibigan kami na kapalibot sa amin. Ang dami mo lang. Ang dami ang pray pa sa amin. <laughs> Laging nandiyan para tulungan kami. Katulad din nangyari kay na uh, Peter at John Lord God, they pray together. They believe together, Lord. They understand that you are in control. Maraming salamat, Lord, na kami pinakinigin sa amin ngayon that you are in control in the midst of this crisis. Sa gitna ni John Lord God, you are doing something. What the enemy meant for evil, you will turn it for our good. Thank you, Lord. Lord, excited kami na makita yun. Na mangyari kami sa buhay namin. Maraming salamat, Lord. And also, Lord, tinuturuan mo kami ngayon to pray with confidence. Lord, bago mo yung puso namin. Even as we pray, Lord God. Lord, alam namin mangyayari. Alam namin na tinawagan namin. Please, 
God, who is in control, and who is the maker of everything. You are powerful. Too much power. Nakakapangyarihan mo. At Lord, hindi ka namin kalaban. Ikaw yung kapatid namin. So when we pray, we pray with confidence. We pray for healing, provision, protection. Lord, you will give them to us. As we believe and we declare the power of the name of Jesus. Lord, maraming salamat. We have Jesus. We have the name of our own names. We are saved through His blood. And by His name, we can conquer this crisis, this problem, this struggle, our frustrations. Lord, maraming salamat mo. Maraming salamat. Kaya ginagawa mo sa buhay natin. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Thank you, Lord. May pag-asa kami na ba? Meron kami magandang future ay lapas. May magandang na kami pinabukasa sa'yo. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.